Uh, I just want to let you know that I, that I love you and um, from the first time that I saw you uh, I knew that you know you may have been the one uh, I really didn't know until you know years down the road uh, that you know I will marry you um, I know it's been like 17 years now but uh, we're here so let's make this thing happen and um, I just wish us the best and I, I hope you know God bless this union and um, I it's love you and I love the girls forever. too. Time would never change how we love. No river could run between us. You're never alone. I'm yours till I'm gone. The beat of my heart is for you. And this drum can make us dance until the day it stops. We can toast to celebrate us till the end of time. Please stand for the bride. The never ending, true story. I just want to love you with every bit of my heart. If the time ever came, it's not good enough. You can't have my soul. Everything I am, I am for you. I just want to love you with every bit of my heart. What can explain? Mr. Moore, sheesh, what can I say? Or much, or much rather, where do I start? I'm sure everyone here will say just speak from your heart. But what if my heart is overfilled with joy? Because I've literally watched you grow into a man from a boy. Mm. As we stand here in the midst of taking our, our vows today, I can't help but reflect on the journey we had along the way. From the gymnasium in Hyde Junior High School, where we met in 2002, to my ringtone constantly going off in MM to Usher and Alicia, my baby. <laughs> now fast forward to November 2010 and 2015, where we welcome the birth of our girls, to this perfect day of June 8, 2019, where we officially connect our two worlds. I know the loot highs and a whole lot of lows, but I promise to continue to build a home that will withstand all the blows. I know the big temptation, followed by a whole lot of lust, but I promise to replace that with 100% honesty and trust. Mm -hmm. The devil will surely try his best to knock down what he didn't help build, but I promise to always let our love be our shield. Amen. Amen. It's no secret that today the heavens are shining so clear. Let us all be a witness that true love brought us here. There's no doubt in my mind that God made you for me and me for you. And now I will fulfill God's plan by spending the rest of my life with you. I do now. I do forever. I do even after I take my last breath. Because I'm a firm believer in life after death. Miracles. Angels in disguise, soulmates, and all the above. But my greatest and ultimate belief is in our love. I mentioned life after death, a miracle, an angel in disguise, a soulmate, because you were all that for me and more. When my dad passed, your face was all I wanted to see. See, people think they know the true history, but they only know what the eyes can see. There is absolutely nothing in this world that I value more than you, me, 
and our family. So in closing, Marcus Alante Moore, I love you and I vow to spend the rest of my entire life as your wife. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, from the very day, first day that I met you, um, I knew that you would be the one. Um, I put you through a whole lot, but you stuck beside me. <laughs> and I'm thankful for that. And, um, you know, in my life, there's been a lot of been ups and downs and things that happen and, you know, losing family members, you know, cousins and, and aunts, and especially my aunt Darlene. Uh, you really you did beside me and uh that's when we had Megan there and uh I just knew that you know like I said you would be the one and that whole one of my kids would be by you you're a great mother and uh I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that you and the girls are safe and take care of you both all three of y'all and um like I say what you said is is that is everything the worst thing that came to uh, you know describe how I feel about you you know, like, if we wasn't here, I don't know where would I, where would I be. You know, even the little bit of time that I'm away from you, like my heart just feels like it's just stop. I can't breathe without you. Mm. And, um, I would give you my heart if it came down to that. I love you. By the power invested in me by the state of Maryland and the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce you man and wife. After 17 years, y'all could do better than that. <laughs> Jack, look, I want to say congratulations. I love y'all. This day finally happened. It's about time. I know you've heard that a million times. Congratulations. This is your boy Q. If y'all need anything and I got it, it's yours. I love y'all. Peace. Jack and Marcus, you know I love you. As I said before, you definitely have to keep the first, keep the communication going. You guys are one, and everybody else outside of you. To Marcus and Jack, from Grandma, I love you children tremendously. Jackie, Marcus, we love you guys. We watch you guys grow into two loving parents. And today, you guys seal, seal the deal by taking that final step and getting married. We love you all, wish you the best. My niece, I call her princess, and I love her. When she was a little girl, she used to follow me around. But I'm so proud of her. I've never been 
so proud like I am today of her and I just I just love her and when she when when they begin to do their vows their wedding vows I you know I don't know if anyone saw me but I just bawled I cried because I was just it was just like I was in awe because my niece was getting married my name is Jackie. I'd like to congratulate both of y'all on a journey, a hard-fought journey. Marcus, you well exceeded my expectations of a gentleman. I can't say a young man, but I can say a gentleman. I wish you both the best of luck and much, much happiness. Love both of y'all. Marcus, this day was truly amazing, like beyond amazing. Anything that I could have thought of, imagined, like it was ten times better than I even prayed for. Like this was just, it was amazing. And I know like it's nothing but God. Like this was destined to be. I love you. We're going to spend many, many, many more years together. And I'm looking forward to every single one of them.